Next up is Still 630, an urban distillery just south of downtown St. Louis. Give me a snapshot of the history of Still 630 and why you started getting into distilling. So we started in 2011, started moved into the building, started distilling in 2012, opened in public in 2013. I wanted to get into it because I love spirits and I love all the different nuances that you can get from the different grains and ingredients and the experimentation is the favorite part and that's why I love this rack because these are all experiments. I love the fact that you are almost embodying that spirit of collaboration that's happening in artisan food yeah. right now. I mean, the fact that you're taking this really interesting almost experiment in beer and then you're experimenting with it further. So right now in the still, you have a peanut butter chocolate milk stout. That's exactly right. That is our third brewery collaboration. This one with four hands with their absence of light we have in there. And so distilling kind of synthesizes those flavors as they come across, mutes some, exacerbates others. But then the barrel sometimes breathes life into them again or it just compounds those flavors. It's really, it's, it's a ton of fun. Like you said, I'm just playing around it here, making booze. What are typically the bases of the spirits? Well, bourbon typically must be corn, but all whiskey comes from grain, so fermented grain. And all different types of grain have different flavors, right? Like bread's a perfect example that I use in our tours. Rye bread tastes different than wheat bread, tastes different than corn bread. And so if you use those different ingredients to make a different spirit, or you use them in different percentages, you're gonna get wildly different flavor combinations. 